All right, welcome back to Jesus or Muhammad. The topic tonight is the incarnation. Uh, Yusuf is not asking about that specifically, but Yusuf, are you still with us? Yeah, I'm still here. Okay, Yusuf, you've heard uh, Brother Sam Shimon and uh, the hadith that he referenced, four specific hadith in Sahih Muslim. What's your response? You asked him to, uh, to give you that evidence and the references. What did you have to say about that, or did you just want to hear him recite? Um, well, I have to say, it's, it kind of reminds me of uh, Deuteronomy 13, 13 through, 13 through 19, where the Jews killed the, uh, the pagan Jews for a burnt offering to God when they killed all the other Jews and all their livestock and all their children and their wives. Uh, that's no, not no, what no, 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 no. Give, yeah. give us yeah. the reference. He just says Deuteronomy 13. No, yes, that's not yes. what it says. And notice, notice, he, notice he's drawing a parallel. Mm. He's drawing a parallel here. So he's saying that these people were dying for the sins yeah. uh, of the Jews. And by the way, Yusuf, as we go to Deuteronomy, so then you're not yeah, denying... You wait a second. You're not denying that those hadith are accurate and that this is actually what Muhammad taught. Or is that correct? Uh, this actually the hadith that you read wasn't the, uh, the speech of Muhammad. It no, it was. The companion. No, the it's companion right said, "I heard it from the prophet," and then his son said, "My father said it three times. This is what the prophet said." So you're mistaken. Notice, I read it to you. Notice you had, you had narration there from Abu from Abu Musa. It doesn't get much higher than that. So in, Yusuf, in Islam. are you denying and running from the fact that what uh, Sam said is actually true hadith in Sahih Muslim? So you, are you denying the authority of Sahih Muslim? He's forced to, of course. Uh, because I believe it will be just because... Uh, I just answer the question. Do you believe in those hadith or no? Yes or no? Yes or no what? Yes or no. Do you believe those hadith are accurate as to what Muhammad I said? Seen, I haven't seen those hadith. Uh, so, we so, gave you the references, so, so go see them. So you don't believe in Sahih Muslim, okay? He goes, he hasn't seen them. We gave no, you the he, references, he hasn't go seen study them. them. He hasn't seen them, but I yes, there. Them. But go yes, look at yeah. them. Yes, and, 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 and I'll just add briefly, if, if you say they're, they're not reliable, so you, if you go and open up Sahih, Sahih Muslim, you're going He's to see afraid. these. You're going to see these. We're, we're, not, we're not making them up. Yep, they're there, uh, we know that mo most Muslims have not read the Hadith, but if you read them, you'll see that they're there, and then you're going to be forced either to accept... Uh, Either you're going to have to accept them, or you're going to have to say, my hadith are unreliable. The problem is, these are your most reliable hadith. And if they're wrong, then you know nothing about Muhammad. But go ahead, Sam. No, I mean, it's clear. He's saying it's not Muhammad. Yusuf, it's Muhammad. Let me read it again. Number 665. Abu Musa reported that Allah's messenger said, when will be the day of resurrection? Allah's Allah will deliver, messenger said. Allah will deliver to every Muslim, a Jew or a Christian, and say, this is your rescue from hellfire. Yes, it is a narration attributed to your prophet. You want to reject it? Then you're free to do so. I gave you the number. I gave you the references. Go study to see we're quoting it accurately. Unlike what you did, you misquoted Deuteronomy 13. 13 verses 13 down doesn't say what you just said. Well, read it. Read it. Well, sure. Read my it. pleasure. Let me read it. You said that Deuteronomy 13, 13 says that the Jews are going to take, uh, or the pagan Jews, and offer them as sacrifices to appease God. Well, let's see if it says that. Okay, let's well, see. But before you say it, uh, he didn't believe what you read out of Sahih Bukhari. So I hope you Sahih said, Muslim. Sahih, 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 Sahih Muslim. So I hope you'll believe what yeah. Sam he reads goes, let out me of read the it. Bible. Okay, let me read it. If you hear, this is Deuteronomy 13. I'm going to read it and pick it up from 12 down to 18. If you hear it said about one of the towns, Yahweh your God is giving you to live in, that wicked men, sons of Belial, have arisen among you and have led the people of their town astray, saying, let us go and worship other gods, gods you have not known. Then you must inquire, probe, and investigate thoroughly. And if it is true and has been proved that this detestable thing has been done among you, you must certainly put to sword all who live in that town, destroy it completely, both its people and its livestock, gather all the plunder of the town into the middle of the public square, and completely burn the town and all its plunder as a whole burnt offering to Yahweh your God. How is this a sacrifice to what you are claiming? Sacrifice for the sins of Jews. This is destroying the wicked so that God will not bring wrath on a nation, for committing sin, so this is the wicked being punished justly. So you're saying the wicked died for the good, right? No, the no, wicked are no, being no, punished the, for the their wicked wickedness, so that God doesn't pour out his wrath on the nation for allowing such wickedness to go unchecked. So, you, Yusuf, so you, Yusuf. The wicked Jews, the good Jews to kill the wicked Jews as a burnt offering to God. It's not a burnt yeah, offering burnt to God. God. It's not an offering. The burnt offering means here that in killing them justly, you're appeasing God. How is this tied in with paganism? When the context is these people are doing wicked, they're misleading you from the worship of the true God to follow other gods. And if you do not check it and wipe them out, then God will bring wrath upon the people for allowing such wickedness to go unchecked. But when you kill them, 
It functions as a burnt offering in that God's justice is satisfied for the people misleading them for the worship of uh, false gods. How is this comparable to what pagans did? You said this is like the pagans. No, no, no. I think he was, comp he was comparing that, if I'm, if, if I'm not mistaken, he was comparing that to Muhammad taking Jews and Christians and putting the sins of Muslims oh. on the Jews and Christians oh, I, oh, that's so what that you're Muslims to do? can go to paradise. Uh, yes, okay, that's well, what listen, doing. number one, <laughs> these, these Jews are being killed for their sins. They're not being killed for the sins of others, so they're being punished for their own sins. However, here's what I want you to respond to me, since you try to draw an analogy between this and the Hadith. These Jews and Christians that are going to hell, are they going to hell for their own sins, or are they innocent and going to hell for the sins of Muslims? Now, before you even answer, let me tell you the implication of your answer. If you're saying these Jews and Christians are going to hell for their own sins, then you're saying that they're not just suffering for their sins, but the sins of Muslims. So they're getting punished for two sets of sins, their own and the Muslims. So the Muslims get away with it scot uh, free. But if you're saying Jews and Christians were innocent, and yet they're still going to hell because of the sins of the other, so you're saying imperfect, fallible human beings who are innocent and don't deserve to go to hell are still going to hell as a substitute for your sins, and yet you object to the eternal Son who is pure and holy, dying to save you from wrath. Oh, they're going to sin for sure, for committing sins against God. Why, why did these people who died in Deuteronomy 13, they died because they did their own <laughs> by the, by the way, this They're was, dying this, for their wickedness. By the way, this was awesome the way he totally diverted yeah, the topic. I was wondering what happened. <laughs> yeah. So I'm well, glad well, you caught that. I didn't know he was trying to draw the analogy. Yeah. First of all, we're talking about uh, the, the issue is paganism. He yeah. wants to talk. Well, actually, I mean, we're, the talking, issue we're talking about the incarnation, incarnation but a Muslim, wants, a Muslim tried to divert the topic. He to takes paganism. it to paganism. We said your objections don't affect Christianity at all, but they do affect Islam, so why aren't you rejecting Islam? We, we, this Muslim calls in to, to, to dispute what we said about, uh, about the pagan origins of Islam, and now he diverts it to Old Testament uh, Old And make Old it clear to punishment. the audience what he did, because I don't know if they're following, because yeah. I at first didn't understand. Yeah. For the audience, he was trying to say that the Jews who were killed, or these Israelites who were killed, for their own sins, uh, for their wickedness and misleading people to worship other gods. That's just like that's, that's just, just like, like Jews and Christians going to hell for the wickedness of Muslims. That's the same thing. <laughs> these Jews are being killed, these Israelites, for their wickedness. The Hadith saying that the Jews or Christians are going to hell for someone else's wickedness. Right. And you're saying it's analogous. Has, and, has, and, has, has, a, has a Muslim called in today who hasn't it. distorted and misrepresented something committing fallacy? No. And, and I'm glad you caught it. I didn't even know he's... Well, and I'm shocked he made that connection. Look, at, look at the classic foolish Muslim apologetic. They refuse to answer anything that may look somehow uh, not so great for their religion. Like you brought up the hadith. Look, Yusuf, I can tell you, I've gone to the computer, I've gone to the internet, to not, not just, uh, you know, what Sam has. I've actually gone to the internet and I've looked